Hi guys, welcome back to Shannon's Kitchen. Today is Father's Day and I'm making a whole bunch of different dishes because we're gonna do a brunch for my husband and along with those dishes, today I'm for the first time on my channel, I'm gonna show you guys how I prepare a fried red snapper and asparagus. So I'm gonna share my recipe with you guys. It's so simple, so easy. In no time you're gonna be done with this recipe but it's very flavorful and very enjoyable for all my seafood lovers so i want to say a happy happy father's day to each and every father out there and every mother who's acting like a father as well so guys if you come on down we're going to show you guys the recipe for the fried red snapper so guys um this is the red snapper that i'm going to be frying today so this is this is going to be a res recipe for fried red snapper and it's a whole fish and combined with this and our chicken that i baked last night this is going to be a part of our father's day brunch but i just want to do this recipe so you guys can see so what i do i'm going to put about a half a teaspoon or quarter let's say a half of teaspoon of salt and i'm going to put um about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper and you just sprinkle it just like that I'm gonna use the other hand and I swash this fish with lime and um, where I bought it from they already scaled it and did everything like that for me so I'm gonna put in here black pepper on both side, sides and I score them because when you score it and you fry it it's gonna be um, and the seasoning one goes in very well and the um, the fish fry very nicely so I'm gonna put my green seasoning and this green seasoning is um, I have green onion I have garlic I have pepper and I have thyme and you want to make sure that all the seasoning goes in well on both sides and so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes before I start frying it and I always make my green seasoning ahead of time. So when you have to make dishes, it's going to be ready. And what I want to do at this point, I'm going to go inside, the inside, because you want to flavor this fish up nice. I leave the head and the tail and everything because I find that it's it looks very nice when you fry the whole fish. So guys, that's the seasoning for that is done so simple and so easy you can actually cook it in the oven like that but because i already did a chicken roasted chicken i'm gonna just fry this one so we have combination of both so look how beautiful that look i'm gonna let it sit for just a few minutes maybe a 10 15 minutes and then i'm gonna fry it and show you guys how beautiful beautiful this looks after it's done Guys, this is the fish well marinated over 15 minutes. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop, dust it a little bit with some flour, not too much, just a little tiny bit. So it's not gonna stick to the pan. And you don't want to put too much because then the whole oil is gonna get so messy with the flour. So lightly, lightly, I'm gonna dust this. And then I'm so getting used to doing the outdoors now I'm just so enjoying it so I'm gonna take this whole fish just like that and then I'm gonna put it in my oil so just let's go over to the stove come don't come too close okay you come on this side so I'm gonna put it in here just like that and we're gonna fry the whole thing um, so yeah so we're gonna fry this whole fish until it's brown up on one side and then I'll flip it over to brown on the other side and then it's going to be all done. I'm so excited guys. So guys, we're going to flip it about three minutes on that side and we want it to be nice and golden brown. Wow! Look at that, yes. So that is how we want it. So we're going to leave it for another three minutes on this side and then it's going to be all good to go. Just going to check to see if it's brown. And it is done. I'm just gonna keep the inside. It needs to cook a little bit more. So I'm gonna leave it for a few more minutes and then we'll take this down. That's all that it is. It's just simple, easy cooking. So done, I'm gonna take it off and I'll show you guys the next step. 
so guys the fish is done and this is the asparagus i'm gonna just garnish for the fish and what i want to do i'm gonna just cut them back in halves and i'm just gonna do the same i already break the tips off i wash them in vinegar water so i'm now I'm gonna saute them with some butter and some garlic so i have the garlic here uh, once i put them in the pan i'm gonna grate the garlic on top of it and then i will show you guys the next step so guys i have the butter i have about one um, teaspoon of butter into the pan i'm gonna put my asparagus right in here like that and this is gonna start cooking I want to sprinkle a little bit of salt because that will bring out the water content and I'm gonna just cook these until the color change a little that's all you don't need it to be um, overcooked so salt I'm gonna add some black pepper and that's just a little pinch of salt and this here is a little pinch of black pepper you don't want to put too much because you don't want to overpower the um, asparagus. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to grate one nice clove of garlic into right on top of that. And I love the flavor of garlic and butter in fresh asparagus or broccoli cooked like that. Where did my garlic go? Um, I'm always losing my garlic like that when it comes towards the end. So look at that, guys. I have another piece of the garlic here is this is gonna infuse well and freshly grated I'm not even gonna cook it too much so the garlic won't be overcooked and this is such a good way for um, to eat this asparagus I love it my family love it this way so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna give it a little stir and we're gonna let it cook a little for the color to change and that's all the cooking we're gonna do to this. We're not gonna overcook it. See how it's that dark green right now? We're gonna just change it onto a lighter color green and we're gonna um we're gonna take it off. So I'm gonna leave it for a few minutes and then I'll show you guys how we do the next step. It's just a few minutes, just about a four minutes or five, maybe less on the stove and this is done i'm gonna turn it off and this is ready to eat with our fish so i'm gonna place and let you guys see and here is my fried red snapper that i did outside in my backyard well seasoned and fried nice and brown and i did some garlic and butter uh, asparagus to go with it so this is a part of our Father's Day. Look how beautiful that looked, a father's, our Father's Day brunch. So I did this one specially because I never did my fried red snapper before. So this is gonna be a recipe on my channel. You guys can find that. And so hope you guys like this recipe. Hope the step was easy. Again, happy Father's Day to each and every one of the fathers. Please subscribe to my video if you haven't done so to my channel you only have to subscribe to one video please give me a, a thumbs up if you like this video and until then i'll catch you later bye for now